Hello. It's been quite a while, has it? Yeah. And and it's been a while. But do you know what? I I could do the classic thing and 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 explain why I, why I've been away for about three four weeks to four months. But um, I'm just gonna leave that aside. I'm just gonna say that the last three months, uh, it's been absolutely hell for me. Uh, and then the fourth month, uh, I just basically took it off. Through that time of me being off, I know everyone, it, including you, uh, are now in, um, in quarantine. But that's not, but in the end, at the end of the day, I hope everyone is well and I hope everyone is safe. Uh, in these very uh, difficult times, but anyway, let's get right into today's video. It's all about so. Welcome to a first proper episode of a brand new segment, which is t taken as as like a sidebar from the car talk series. I want to leave that aside to do wheel cars instead this part this bit is going to be part of a new segment called news talk here's all of it all of the information you need to know so far about a brand new 2020 porsche 911 gt3 so what do we know about this c c c car as a whole what what we know, just like every other like uh, a different model of a Porsche 911, is that it is an evolution that's c continued from the last 911. There is no big ch ch change in that. There probably will never be a massive ch change in the 911's lineup for years to come, if not. Decades. This 992 uh, 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 generation is taking over, and it's going to replace the 991 and and 991.2 uh, generation GT3. Some cars, which I think are at the start of F3 uh, GT. Uh, p product line. What are we looking at here? In terms of the stats, we are looking at the same 4.0 liter naturally aspirated flat six that came from the 991.2 generation GT3 RS. So the top of the line GT3 car's engine will now be going into this new base model uh, GT3's engine. That meaning that it will be powering 513 horsepower and about 370 pounds feet of torque. And weighing, weighing at about 1500 kilos. In terms of the manual gearbox, the manual gearbox will be an will be optional, so you can go for a six-speed manual gearbox, or you can go for the new eight-speed uh, PDK gearbox, which was which was last in the new 992 generation Carrera, which has proven to be amazing in terms of the car's not to 60 time as the all-wheel drive version of the Carrera can do 0 to 60 in 3.2 seconds and that's a car with 444 horsepower and that c c car it's not necessarily a light car however the GT product cars 
they will be quite a bit lighter and quite a bit more powerful. So let's see what Noctis is the time we can get out of that c c car. There's also, there's also a room option for a 7 sp speed manual gearbox, which will be very interesting. I think that will be very interesting because I see how Porsche is trying to add more gears to um, to c comply with the emissions st 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 standards. But the fact that they are raising the amount of gears in a manual car, that, I think that is what's very interesting because you don't know, there, there isn't a lot of cars that have more than six gears in a manual gearbox. The only cars I've heard of so far are this new GT3 and the Aston Martin Vantage AMR manual version. So uh, I think that's going to be very interesting and who knows, that new gearbox might make more sales than the 6 sp speed. All we'll have to know uh, in the near f future. Uh, the top sp 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 speed, we're thinking about a 190 to, to, to 195 range. Now, on to the exterior design. Personally, I, I, I think from the last uh, generation uh, GT3, I think they have done a pretty good job with keeping the evolution in there but also making the cars much more modest, but also making them a lot more track focused. And then you can definitely tell by this new GT3 look that it does look very track orientated. And with that, I think it kind of makes the old 991.2 generation GT3 look a slight bit out of it. Like, Personally, I think if you look if you look back at the uh, 991.2 out uh, generation uh, GT3, I think it I think it would look really good, but when we really put the new car side, I think it might just lose its looks a little bit. But it is a really nice looking c c car. So let's talk about the lots, the front b b bumper. Now you can see elements of the old 991.2 uh, generation GT3 in it. However, it's been slightly sp 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 spiced up a little bit, towards a point where I actually thought, and I I had to write it down in my notes that it. It looked like that it had been updated so that it got swore up more air like a hoover. <laughs> now, that doesn't make much sense. However, if you look at if you look at the way the front bumper's been made in terms of having those three massive uh uh mesh uh uh, mesh intakes. You can kind of see that it just look a bit more open. Like it, it each of his side, a uh, uh, uh p p parts, especially look like they got. The ones of the um, 991.2 gen, but then just made them a bit larger. But when they did be so that it, it looked like those are proper, a proper chunky uh, gap in them before you, you actually get a mesh inside them. And I just think it makes the front end look very aggressive. Now, on the front. For the first time, the Baines model GT3 now c comes with with a hood vent, which would normally have been seen uh, in cars like the 991.2 uh, generation GT3 RS. 
However, now they've decided to even right right down by a front bumper so that they can keep the the retro looking uh lines that go down a center like what you see on the 992 generation Carrera now the car has been widened which really interested me a lot because when I saw the new Carrera clearly the rear arches were insanely wide and I was just thinking how much surely they can't go any wider than that but somehow they have now if we go to the back of the car this is where it's most interesting so i i went back there's now a suit rear air diffuser which is almost like holding up the two central exhausts and then if you go, i'll go up to what looks like as as though they got a 911 Carrera to lift its uh, 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 rear lip up, but then just made it fixed there. Just to give it that bit more of a sp sp sporty look and then to add on to that, they've gone and added the, the usual GT line uh, we win. However, this time it's a bit of a change this time because they are following the trend of McLaren by putting a swan neck wheel win on it. Now, personally, I am a big fan of the swan neck wheel win. I think it's not necessarily the most amazing looking thing. It's it's definitely not. Uh, beautiful but it just gives that amazing track f f f focused look and personally when you've got a car like a Porsche uh, a GT car it just makes that track orientated look just really pop out and it does make it look Really, really, really good. Especially for the uh, end plates as well, which are on the side of the rear wing. The fact that they don't necessarily go any like higher up, but than the, the actual wind, they just go right down. I think that just looks really, really, really nice. So yeah, that's basically everything we know so far about this new Porsche 911 GT3. Or what people might call the 992 911 911 911 992 GT3. So yeah, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'm going to be back making some brand new videos and, and I've got two to three brand new series coming very very soon towards the channel since everyone is in quarantine. Uh, one event especially is being uh, named right after right after the for the name of quarantine. So uh, st st stay tuned for the future videos to come and there i'd like to i'd like to thank you very much for watching this video if you did then then why not subscribe to our channel that would be amazing apart from that guys i'd like i'd love i'd like to thank you very much for watching this video